Today we celebrate Jeremy and Sarah. I look at them and smile, knowing the love and affection they have for each other. They both have challenged each other and they're going to be better as they work together. We welcome Sarah with open arms to our family and her family. Sarah, brilliant and beautiful Sarah, you truly are a woman of valor, clothed in strength and dignity and integrity. You and Jeremy are such a solid superstar team. You support and inspire and balance one another so beautifully with so much love and mutual respect and humor. My name is Myra. I'm a family friend of the bride since we were in utero, but uh, Sarah luckily waited until I was ordained to get married. So, um, And I just want to say that um, as someone who's known Sarah for so long, that um, witnessing Jeremy come into her life has been such a wonderful gift. So uh, very, very happy to be here uh, in this capacity for them today. Ruchim abayim b'shem Adonai Mi adir al hakol, mi baruch al hakol Mi gadol al hakol, hu yevarech hachatan vehakala May the one who is supreme, the ultimate in power and blessing and glory, bless this chatan, this groom. Yermiahu ben Roger Veshoshana, and this Kala, this bride, Sarah Batavid Ilana Kohen Esther. This chupa represents your home together. You're entering today as partners, and you will leave as each other's closest family members. And today, this symbolic first home is infused with so much extra love. We're standing under the chuppah that Sarah's parents stood under at their wedding almost 42 years ago, made by Elise and embroidered with their names. And now their love and the love of your families, your communities, all of your loved ones, are continuing to hold you and guide you as you create within one another a new sacred space in entering this next phase of your partnership together. We're going to do our last main ingredient of this wedding, which is to bless you with seven blessings. And we're going to wrap you in your two tali toad, one from Jeremy's bar mitzvah and from Sarah's bar mitzvah made by Elise. All of your ancestors also managed to find each other at the exact right time and place, which led to the two of you coming into being, which altogether seems basically impossible that you had separate adult lives and individual careers, one who serves Malibu and the other who hikes Kilimanjaro, that you found each other in the middle of a pandemic of all times, and that you share values and a sense of humor, generosity, and curiosity, and that you are both also so committed to making the world a better place, makes the odds of you two finding each other, falling in love, and building a life together an astronomically unlikely event so let's just call it a miracle. 
So we'll close with maybe our most well-known wedding tradition, the breaking of the glass. This action reminds us that even in the midst of joyful times, we carry and acknowledge personal, communal, and national sadness, as symbolized by the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. Weddings and marriages, like all of life, are not perfect. There are people we wish could be part of this day. There were things left undone. As you yourselves told me, our relationship and our lives are not always going to be joy and gladness. We are going to experience sadness, and it's a blessing to be able to recognize it, sit with it, have someone to hold as you work through it. This is our moment to acknowledge that pain and then to make an active choice to move forward, to rebuild from the pieces, and to allow yourself the unbridled joy of the rest of what this day brings. Just, he, he, he's so nice that we're so thrilled that Sarah and Jeremy are together, that they can have a life and be together and be with each other and support us in our old age. As we <laughs> Jeremy, you are beyond caring for me and everyone around you. From day one, I have always felt safe with you. Safe to share all my emotions, big and small. Safe to share my opinions, of which there are many. Safe to be my full self in a world that doesn't always want me to. As Myra said, you have never asked me to be a smaller version of myself. You love all of me. You see the parts of me I wasn't sure anyone could ever see or anyone would ever see. And you love me for all of it. What I have found with you is the great love and partner I always hoped existed. I love you, Jeremy. Thank you for calling me that morning and being there for me every day after. I am so excited for what is to come for us. I know we will get through all of it together. Sarah, thank you for working tirelessly to make this day perfect. You've handled the many hurdles that come with planning such a beautiful wedding with grace and poise. I love that you pushed me to be the best version of myself. I love the life we have created and will continue building together. I love and so appreciate how supportive you are of my many extracurricular activities, and thank you for being the best campaign manager I could have ever asked for. I know life will provide us our shares of ups and downs, but there is no one else I'd want to face the good times and the bad times with. Thank you for making my life a richer one to live, and I am so excited to go on this journey with you. 